Hi there. Once again, you're here with Old Barry. And uh, first and foremost, I want to make sure I'm recording, and I am. Okay, I'm going to get out this quick video to you introducing uh, what will probably be my last video pertaining to the actual coronavirus, okay? Um, when I make the statement that we're all in uncharted waters, as, as I've used in my last um, blog, that includes me. So understand from the 2015, because I always repeat myself several times, because I go off and unheard. I say things happen slowly until they happen quickly. Now, uh, from 2015, when we started forwarding all this information and stuff, well, uh, I first want to thank over the last little while all the folks that have been reaching out to me. Uh, I had no idea that many people were still following and reading uh, because we switched the format uh, uh, and I'm, I'm discussing why in this next post why I, I tend to shy away from the actual trends but but I don't want to get off track I want to keep this reasonably short I have had probably six and a half hours sleep in the last two days because the difference is between, uh, let's say, uh, the differences in between parts of China or Hong Kong and Israel, uh, for the four of us to get together and start working on things, uh, it's, it's a nightmare. So I'm really lacking sleep. I'm a little bit tired now. So I've thanked everybody. I, I first and foremost didn't want to forget to do that. I, I did not know we were that appreciated. But anyway, okay, so from 2015 to the present, five years, 2020, Great, we hit that between 90 and 95 percent spot on. I don't tamper with cryptos. I'm not that knowledgeable about it. I only give fact. I don't give opinion. So in any event, um, moving on, this will probably be the last video pertaining to the actual uh, virus itself. So um, I'm going to ask you to bear with me on this next post coming out. Again, it will be the final pertaining to the virus. When I make the fact about uncharted waters, we're all in uncharted waters. That includes us guys. So from 2015 to now, we were able to put together information. We had to stop at what I always refer to as intersections. Until the event actually occurred, and we had no way of knowing it would be launched through a virus, a real virus, but a virus, none the same. So we hit that intersection. Now, researchers that really enjoy this kind of work and, and really take the time on their teams, we're already now at that intersection. So we need to now find out where it's going. And we've um, unraveled, uh, and I'm not getting into it, I'm just saying right now there are seven possible courses this thing will go. That's all I know at this point. We've done that much research from very good to mm, not so good. Okay, uh, I can't say any more about that now because we haven't done the research. So here's what we did do though. In efforts as a last blast, I'm asking all my subscribers, I'm asking everybody we've ever helped and relocated, I don't care what your darn personal differences are, your beliefs, they're only going to hurt you in this scenario. And I'm asking you, uh, because of, and I do thank uh, Stefan for this, because it was very smart. Stefan's the one in the group that's been actually so successful at distributing it. And again, I said, I'm only part of a four-person group. I only do certain research, what they think I'm good at. We put it all together and pool it. Anyway, Stefan has a near 100% success rate, and that's the real reason I'm doing this video. If you're not willing to do this, I would appreciate from now on if you would just tune out, okay, and go back to your fear porn or your public medias, but kind of just leave us out of the picture. We don't have to prove ourselves anymore. We were spot on accurate. The ones we helped relocate, you know we're spot on accurate. Uh, if you choose to live in fear, that's your own personal choice, really. I couldn't care less one way or another. All I'm asking is if you're wearing a mask and you're young and healthy, don't let the mask cover your eyes. It's meant for your nose and mouth, okay? Just in case you're wondering. So let's move on with this. But anyway, Stefan has near 100% success rate without getting people upset about getting the point across what needs to be get. I can't say I'm that successful at that. I'm too direct in your face. But here's what I want you to do. And if you can't do it, please tune us out from now on. And when we go back to lovely videos about the country and the beautiful area of Cabrera, 
that's fine, okay? Then tune back into that. Just leave the part that you really need to learn out of it, okay? Um, what we're asking everybody to do is everybody you know, friend, family, everybody you run into from now on in, everybody you text, email, children, I don't care. All I want and all I'm humbly requesting is you simply, and this is a postscript, well, I read an article, uh, whatever the name, I read an article, John, that uh, really made a lot of sense to me, and, you know, we're friends, and I value your opinion. Would you be so good as to read the article for me, and then reach out and tell me if it makes any sense to you? You're going to find that virtually 100% of your friends, family, and everyone's going to say, sure, Barry. Yeah, why not? You see, because you're not saying you're wrong, I'm asking you to see what's right. That's, that's me. That's too con confrontational. I apologize. It's just that we're not all great at everything. And uh, I, I, I want you to bear with me in one more thing. So if you can't do that, just X nay on this part of the trends, okay? Because, look, folks, people would have charged you a hell of a lot of money to be 95% accurate over five years. We don't need to prove ourselves. And I'm, I'm just saying a lot of people are writing checks they can't cash. Well, this one's just been cashed by the coronavirus. And uh, it's a series, <laughs> bear with me, it's over 4,000 words. I like to keep my posts around 850, 900. So remember, there's four people contributing. If you're not willing to do the simple math from where you live and come up with your numbers that we know already are going to agree with our numbers, and then still can't think that this is a pandemic, a pandemic that killed 38,000 people in the United States when the plain old flu last year that didn't shut down a single business killed 69,000. If you at that point cannot look at the numbers, people, everything in life is an equation. If you can't put your personal beliefs aside, you are unhelped. You cannot be helped. Okay, in these types of circumstances, just go down the road you think is best, and, and I wish you the best of luck. But if you're not willing to share unbiased, good, solid, factual information with all the people running around scared with this uncontrollable desire to buy toilet paper, um, listen, just tune into the pretty stuff about the Dominican Republic and the wonderful town of Cabrera. Because everybody we've relocated, we're hearing from a lot of them that are not closed-minded now thanking us. Whether it's John, me, Leanne, just thanking us. Because, wow, Barry, it's so much better here than I'm hearing back home. Just wanted to thank you. Well, great. We're asking you to do this, not for us, for humanity. If you're not willing to do it, please tune out. Everything is an equation. And the last person that tried to stump me with that, well... They lost too. Yeah, they lost too because they were trying to tell me, well, Barry, how do you put happiness, things like that, into a mathematical formula? And I thought about it. It's a good question. And I said, well, really, to me, happiness is just reality minus expectation equals happiness. You know, in a closing note, though, uh, real quick, okay, I don't want to drag this out because I'm tired, but I've got to still proofread before I go to bed. Listen, um, I remember this by somebody told me a long time ago, okay, Albert Einstein was once asked a question after a, 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 a well-accepted speech when the reporters were asking, and said, Mr. Mr. Einstein, you're, you're brilliant. If you had a problem to solve, and you had one hour to solve it, and if you couldn't solve it, it would be ca catastrophic to the world, or you would die, how would you use your time? And Einstein thought about it a little bit, and he came back and he said, you know, good question, but I think I'd use 55 minutes of my time determining the right couple of questions to ask, because once I've asked the right couple of questions, I can solve anything in under five minutes. Keep that in the back of your mind, okay? Are we asking the right questions? Okay, till next time, it's Barry and DR, and uh, we're really asking for your help uh, to better humanity's understanding of what's actually been going on here. Uh, I sure hate to see people uh, 
and a large percentage of them are going to follow the wrong direction here. They already are. You can just tell by the number of masks out there. Okay, good people making poor decisions. That's another mathematical formula, so I'll let you figure out what that equals, okay? Until next time, it's Barry and DR, and thank you so much again for all those wonderful... Uh, I mean, my God, just we've re reached people from as far as Laval, Canada, the, the Federated States of Micronesia in the last few days. Really appreciate that part. It's very humbling, and uh, from the bottom of what heart I got, we're just trying to get people on the right track. You don't need to be living in fear. That's a choice. And from my understanding, a poor one. Okay, till next time, this is Barry. Bye.